see you again. Good to see you too, Jeff. How was your uh, weekend? It was great. It was great. I, I went to one of my friend's son's first birthday party. That was a lot of fun. I finally got to, to meet the little guy. It was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, he got to meet Alex. So it was, it was good. It was, it was a long weekend, but it was, it was really nice. Good. Eventful? Yes, very eventful. I like it. Uh, so we talked a little bit about your dad last week. Yes. Uh, so let's get to know your mom a little bit. Okay. Um, well, I don't know if I've told you before, but my mom, or at least both my parents, were, were born in Haiti. Uh, mm-hmm. My mom moved to the States, I believe she was 18 or, or 19 years old. Um, so she's been in Miami since, or she was in Miami for, for a long time. That's where her and my dad met. Um, right. But my mom is, is the one that taught me how to cook. Uh, she... <laughs> Kind of forcefully a little bit, it was come help me in the kitchen, but it was a not a rhetorical, it was a rhetorical question. Yes. So, so, hey, so help me in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but I'm I'm thankful that she did. Uh, she really taught me how to how to cook. Um, she taught me how to bake. So I I've got some family recipes now, and I absolutely love them. So, <laughs> what's your favorite uh, recipe of your mom's? Uh, my favorite recipe of my mom's. This could sound a little weird, but it's her her salad dressing. She used to make like her own Thousand Island, and it was it's even better than actual Thousand Island. And I mean, it, you can put it on any type of salad; it goes good with just you know veggies, you know carrots, celery. Um, that's my favorite to, to make. Or uh, my other favorite is uh, beignets. It's like a banana fritter, um, so it's pretty much fried bananas, and okay. you put some sugar on top. You can have it warm or the way I like it, which is cold, oh. so it's even better. It's a little bit more sweeter. So I'll have to try that sometime. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Uh, so um, a couple other questions, like what? Uh, what's your favorite recipe to cook? You think? Um, I don't know. Usually, when I when I cook, I just again, this is the way my mom taught me. I kind of just go with the flow, kind of. Yeah. Um, I, I think of cooking is more of an art. Uh, you know, baking is more of a science. So cooking, I just, whatever I'm cooking, whether it's chicken, um, you know, uh, veggie sausage, whatever it is, I kind of just go with, with what I'm feeling, and sometimes it's, it's a little spicy, sometimes it's not. I've learned to not be so heavy-handed with spices. Sure. Uh, my mom <laughs> used to say that uh, uh, she didn't like going out to eat because they, they were very light on, on spices, mm-hmm. um, which... It's kind of understandable when my mom says a little bit. It's not a normal person's little bit. It's actually a whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's how I used to cook. I used to cook with a lot of spices, uh, pepper, salt, cayenne pepper, um, just anything I could get my hands on. I love using fresh garlic, uh, fresh parsley. So I just kind of go with the flow and cook what I'm feeling. You did well, Mom. Good job. Because <laughs> cooking for the audience is cooking is very good. I've, I've had a couple of his recipes. So um, uh, We have a little surprise next week. Uh, Lucas doesn't even know yet. So uh, what we're going to ask is for you, the audience, to ask questions that you want to know more about Lucas. So uh, you can either send us comments, messages, anything like that to get your question out there, and we will go over them next week. All right. Sounds like a plan. Very cool. All right. Well, I will see you next week, sir. Sounds good.